Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Star Wars review, and this one is on a uh, Cad Bane speeder and uh, Plo Koon's Jedi Starfire from 2010, of course. So on the front of the large box, which only entry that I have for Cad Bane speeder, of course, have the two logos and that blue uh, border with Cat and Rex there. And then picture of the set in action, flying near Coruscant, and also, so new, well, new for the time, uh, Shahan Alama and Separatist Commando minifigs included, and all the minifigs included there, and special edition, indicating that it being a Target exclusive, well, for the time, of course. Age recommendation is 7 through 12, set number 8128, has 318 pieces. And on the back side, you see that border again, and an alternate picture of the set, and the two features of it, and also advertisement of three other sets that there were at the time, and yeah. <coughs> and now, onto the instruction manual, of which same picture is on the front of the box and everything. And on the back, how to win on the online survey. Add for a few other sets for at the time that there were. And of course, last last or last last week's throwback Thursday, obviously. And that shot again and the features of it. And the pieces that come with the set, of course, in the last step. Now onto all the mini pigs included with this set. But first off, we for Cad Bane spear we have obviously Cad Bane, which and of course this was probably the first time we've ever had this one, but also in the clone turbo tank that there also was at the time and. Of course, it did appear in a couple other sets uh, a few years after. Yeah. and But also recently in the Bat Batch, uh, recently came in. But also, spoiler alert, also appeared in the Book of Boba Fett. But I hope we get him again, but for that. And also, what, anyways, what is ex kind of exclusive to him is this large hat piece with the large rim around it and... As for the, his face printing, which is done quite goodly and well captures his looks from the his accuracy from the show, of course. And also, as, and of course, torso printing, again, still done quite good. That's all the uh, hat, which does kind of cover most of his uh, head, of course. Or as well suiting to him. And that breathing apparatus piece does go all the way around the course. But yeah. And next up is Zaha Alama, which with some good in his front torso printing, face print done quite good for as is, and one gold arm that there is, kind of like we have with C3PO. And well, with both of these, uh, which not at all any like printing, okay, which must have been common for the time. And of course, classic pirate cap piece, well, since kind of the same race as Hondo Alama, obviously. And next to which we have the two different Senate commando troopers, well, one of which that did appear in the 2009 Venator set, well, this of which was a cheaper way to get them to get him. But this other one of which, which I think might have been exclusive to just this one set, of course, well, until the battle pack of them in 2015, of course. But aside from that, that the uh, helmet pieces of which done quite good, and both torso printings also done well. And underneath the which is the 
a usual clone face of its, well, Clone War style version of that. Uh, yeah. And also, and last of which is a, a traditional assassin droid. Well, same as from the uh, battle pack set that came out in early 2009 or so. And of course, this of which was uh, around a few couple of waves later, so I just haven't seen in a while at the time. And yeah. And next to which, for Plo Koon's Jedi Starfire, is of course Plo Koon himself, a witch. And of course, wielding the blue lightsaber, obviously, and as headpiece of which, quite soft rubber, and also hardish rubber as well, and his front torso printing, done quite good for as is. And not only leg printing, obviously, of course, and of course, he of which did appear like around two years prior in the uh, Republic gunship set, but however, that a which a quite expensive way to get, but this a which a whole lot cheaper, of course, and great to get, but yeah. And, and I think probably came in a set or two later, a year later or than this one, but uh, not sure, but yeah. And then last of which have this astromech droid, I forget which one, but Correct me in the comments, but yeah. And aside from that, his so the his uh, torso printing done quite good, and head printing also done well. And of course, same leg pieces as R two D two and all all had, but his body piece in brow, which quite interesting for that. And as for the back head printing, also done quite goodly. And as for the back torso printing on each and every one of them, also done quite well. But as for Hondo Alama, which does also have some slight back head printing, of course. But whereas Cad Bane, of which, not at all in the double side face, of course. And also interesting how most of these do have back torso printing, but Cad Bane and Plo Koon, which don't at all. Uh, but I'm sure other versions probably have, or if there does get to be other versions, probably will, but yeah. And that's about it with the minifigs included. Now on to the two builds, or the sets. First off, we would have the Plo Koon's Jedi Starfire. So, uh, for, so first glance of which, quite similar to what we've had with most Jedi Starfires over time. But of course, in this in this one's case, nice with a nice color scheme of traditional blue and white, of which quite nice, really cool, of course. So like for this first half, first bit of which, which does have the long curved slope pieces, but with large stickers on them. So there's quite a few stickers in this set. And of course, like other uh, Jedi Starfighters, it does come to an exact po a point to it. Although most of the build quite is similar to the Anakin's Jedi Starfighter that was released like two years prior to this one. So, it's kind of a common thing of older sets. And same with the landing gear underneath the which, and what this ball joint piece is for, which we'll see in a moment. And also do have these little engine bits, so which also similar to that. And as for the this middle section, or I mean, also, as you can see, good perfect symmetry to most, but except for one bit there, of which being this little tile with the Republic symbol, of course. Also, unlike with uh, the other Jedi Starfires, where the clip that holds the lightsaber there, but however it's on an actual top part side of which, instead of on the bottom part of which, kind of interesting. And as in a as you kind of see in the middle bit of which has 
two little jumpers into a divot where you can fit your astromech droid main fig into, but have to do it sideways. But usually, and of course, usually in the show they just do so like sideways like that. But that in which they never get around to fi figuring out. And if I open this cockpit piece from Exoforce on there and. Of course, and now this little cockpit area with a few with a few stickered uh, slopes and tile pieces there, of course. And weird thing is that in enough space to fit your Plo Koon mini fig into, and also if you remember that ball joint piece from earlier, you tap on that and. It, Flips them right out. Although kind of similar to the Anakin's one from two years prior, but however, that which was for the astromech droid part, but kind of swapped and now it's for the pilot part, which kind of interesting how that is, but yeah. And of course, other versions of this ship did have uh, different features of which, yeah. And I guess that is it with Vulcan's Jedi Starfighter. And now on to Cad Bane's speeder, which quite in a un quite unique, interesting one that we never seen any remakes of, of course. And also for the shaping of which quite uniquely shaped, of course. So like as for this front part of which. But it has some good bits to it, like a slope going in some opposite direction, of course. And also going along the sides, what those those technic rods are for is see when you tap on it and you see the little dish piece with is also a flick fire missile. Which of course were were a common thing at the time, of course. But if this were remade nowadays, I probably expect it to there to be uh, springle launchers, of course, or just stud shooters, of course. Spawn part of which, which does have plenty of good detailing for just bricks and plates, and also a few traditional bricks right at the bottom part. There's also those rounded bricks, which you don't see very much, but yeah. And also some good and also those vent pieces acting as greebling, obviously. And yeah. And as for this, uh, also front area, which as you see, little cockpit, which with a traditional steering wheel piece and also a printed tiled piece there. And of course, enough space to uh, fit your Cad Bane minifig into. Uh, hang on a sec. And as for this middle section, which has four separate seats that you can fit various minifigs into, and also a couple of clips to hold their uh, guns or blasters on too. And as for this back section, which some more of those large curved slopes. <sighs> Sorry about the yawn. And also another tile piece with a bunch of arrows on or arrow marking sticker, whatever. And that's for the back engines. And if you wonder, like, why am I missing the piece there? Well, just didn't include it when I received it, but I'll get that another time, but yeah. And also, also built quite nicely with these booster parts here. And, of course, what the main feature with this part is they push on it and it uh, flips right open and little stored unit for all their many blasters, of course. Well, blasters for each minifig. And also, can like, and also, like this plate up here will actually stick to the round plate on there, of course, to make it nice and secure, which, very good. So, good use of that. And of course, this was one of the bigger speeder builds that there were compared to most other smaller speeders, but 
of course, well suiting to the price point of it, $50 at the time, but of course nowadays probably be either the same or at least 40 if it had diff if it were up to different Legos, newer Lego standards, but yeah. And also, if you remember in episode in episodes of the Clone Wars uh, with and the Bad Batch, or just Clone Wars with this uh, particular ship, then of course does have a kind of has like a little trailer bit of it that carries Zero the Hut on. Also, but unfortunately, never got this yet. Never got Zero the Hut or that, but included with this, but. Maybe if this were remade nowadays, I think probably be include that, of course, but yeah. Lego, please do a Zero the Hut, which would be nice, but yeah. And so now, on to the final verdict. So for my overall verdict, I think these of which are quite cool sets for 2010, of course, like, of course, like a Jedi Starfighter, but in the white and blue kind of color scheme. Well, except for the other version in 2015, but yeah, but also Cad Bane's beard, quite unique one that we never seen any remakes of, but like, should it get a... Do I think it could warrant a remake? Yes. Well, for the sake of the Bad Batch, but... And as I once said, maybe you also could have included uh, Zero the Hut, of course. But also, minifig selections in both sets are uh, quite good for what they were. But, uh, but like for Cad Bane's beer, I think maybe another... Uh, traditional clone trooper or even silver battle droid also would have been nice to be included but maybe that would have been a little too much but yeah but if this and once again if it were remade now I think could, a little bit better could have been added in so but as for the playability of both of which done are quite good but although I think the that Plo Koon's Jedi Starfire could have had some uh, launchers on to as well, but maybe if they were both remade, could have had both stunt shooters and spring loaded launchers, of course, but yeah. Oh, whoops. So, but. And so now, if y'all still have these sets from back in the day, oh, whoops. Anyways. If, if you both have, if any of you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them, and for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.